Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to lesson 1-5, dividing decimals, dividing decimals. And so what I want to do is go over some examples from our assignment. And so as you can see in Schoology, our very first problem is going to be uh, 4A, 4B, and 4C. And so I want to go over at least uh, over one or two of these uh, to give you an idea of how to do this assignment, because I realize it can be a little confusing. I'm going to begin by rewriting this, which it's already rewritten on my notes. So if you have access to those, you can just follow along there as well. So in 4A, we are given 231 divided by 5.07 is equivalent to blank divided by 507. Okay. The first thing I want you to notice, and feel free to pause the video as you're writing this down in your own notebook, um, is notice these two numbers. If you exclude the decimal, they actually have the same exact digits, right? And so that, that'll be for a specific reason. What we're seeing here, guys, is that we have two expressions. We have this one and this one. And we're essentially asking the question, what number, that's going to be the answer to this, what number divided by 507 would give me the same answer as 231 divided by 5.07? And just asking it that way makes it really hard to answer. I don't know. What number could that be? Well, let's forget about this for now. And let's just consider this. Let's work this out. Okay, it's a division problem, so I'm going to use the division box. And remember, first number always goes inside. So it's going to be 231 divided by 5.07. And it is here that I need you to remember that we do not like decimals on the outside. We hate decimals on the outside. So I'm going to take that decimal and get rid of it by moving it two times to the right so that now I have 507. Oh, wait, look, 507. And that is possible as long as you take the decimal and the dividend on the inside and also move it the same number of times to the right. In this case, I need to move it two times, and this will yield 23,100. So that means that if I rewrite this, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to read 23,100 divided by 507. But look, isn't that the number that I'm missing here? Because remember, these two expressions are going to be exactly the same. So my answer to number one is 23,100. Sorry, to number four, eight. That's it. You're just finding the number that um, that uh, that would make these two equivalent expressions. Okay. Again, all I did is I put it into the division box. I changed it so that I'm working only with whole numbers. And so the whole number that has to be divided by 507 has to be 23,100. And that will give you the same answer as 231 divided by five and seven tenths, 700, sorry. If you don't believe me, use a calculator. You will see that this is indeed the answer. So that's what you would type in into Schoology. Let's try a second one. Uh, what about B? We have zero and 4,472 ten thousandths divided by zero point three one five three hundred fifteen thousandths and that is equivalent to something divided into 315. Again ladies and gentlemen let us focus on this uh, on this left side. Let me write this into our division box. So we are given we are given first number goes inside four thousand four hundred seventy two uh 10 thousandths divided by 315 thousandths. Okay, again, we do not like decimals on the outside. So I'm going to take that decimal and I'm going to shift it to the inside until it's a whole number. One time, two times, three times. So this is now 315. Good. Now I must do the same thing here. One times, two times, three times. It is now between the seven and the two, ladies and gentlemen. That means that 400. 47 and 2 tenths divided by 315 is the same thing as this over here. So that would be your answer to that blank. 
And that is all of what you're doing. You're just seeing what number needs to be in that blank once you shift the decimals over so that the divisor is now a whole number. That's all you're doing. So you go ahead and do C on your own. Next, I, I do want to explain uh, number five, and I'm just going to briefly explain this. Uh, it says, Imam makes bead bracelets. She can buy 12 beads for $2.04, or she can buy 17 beads for $3.57 at a different store. The question is, which is the better deal to give us a lower cost? It is a lower cost for the bead. A lower cost for the bead. Well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, notice what the question is asking. We want the cost per bead. Cost, in other words, money, cost per bead. Notice, isn't this a fraction? And doesn't fraction mean division? In other words, we have two division problems right here. One of them, our cost is, again, cost is going to be the first number, the numerator, $2.04. For 12 beats, and the other is going to be $3.57 for 17 beats. And we want to see which is going to give us the better deal. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just solve both division problems. $2.04 I mean, $2 would go in the division box. That's our dividend. Divide that by 12. So let me. $2.04 divided by 12. And that will give you the cost for just one bead using that deal. Now, notice that there are no decimals on the, on the divisor. So I don't have to move decimals over. Just solve it normally and shift the decimal up. And same thing for the other deal. And then verify to see which is going to give you the lowest cost per bead. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have time for today. I just wanted to explain those first two problems. Hopefully uh, you're getting the hang of it. And if you have any questions, please come see me. And with that in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you next time.